So in number 13, in formula C equals 5 over 9 times F minus 32, we're plugging in C equals 35 and we're solving for F. So let's rewrite this. It's going to be 35 equals 5 over 9 times F minus 32. Now this one's actually going to be a complicated one, so I will try to explain everything as thoroughly as possible. So first we need to isolate this F. And the first way we can do that is by dividing 5 over 9 to both sides. So these two cancel out. And when you divide by a fraction, what you're actually doing is multiplying by the reciprocal. So to rewrite this is going to be 9 over 5 times 35, which equals 315 over 5. So we can rewrite our problem again to 315 over 5 equals F minus 32. Now we still have this 32 to deal with because we need to isolate the F. So positive 30 or add 32 to this side, add 32 to this side, and we get 32 plus 315 over 5 equals F. But now these don't have least common denominators, so we need to make that a thing so we can add them together to find F. So the least common denominator between 5 and 1 is 5. So anything you do to the bottom must be done to the top. And I'm going to rewrite this over here. So 32 times 5 equals 160 over 5 and then we add our, we bring out over our 315 over 5. 315 over 5 equals F. Now we add these two together, which equals 475 divided by 5 equals F. And then we divide 5 into 475, because that can be simplified, which equals 95 equals F. Now this one is very confusing, but there is a bit of a trick here. So if anyone's familiar with Celsius, this is actually the formula of converting Celsius to Fahrenheit. And Celsius is always lower than Fahrenheit. If something is 16 degrees Celsius, it's probably gonna be 70 something Fahrenheit. So if you ever see this equation on your exam, always look for a bigger number. 